After taking the exterior measurements of the chase, mark your blank chase cover to cut to the proper dimensions. Cut the chase to the appropriate size using hand shears. After cutting the chase, mark and notch out each corner to prepare the chase cover for bending, creating the overhang. Using a field brake bar, bend the overhang to a 90 degree angle. After completing the chase cover fabrication, it is now time to terminate your installation. The flue system on all installations must extend past the top of the chase. Since each flue system will vary in height, you will have to determine the best way to terminate the flue with as little exposure as possible. In this case, a 12 inch addition is necessary to extend the flue past the top of the chase. When installing the chase cover, make sure to fasten all sides. Once the chase cover is installed, the termination cap is anchored securely atop the final piece of flue. Sheet metal screws are necessary for this application. Next, the storm collar is firmly positioned around the flue pipe and placed just above the raised lip of the chase cover. Fasten this with a galvanized sheet metal screw. Complete the termination by caulking the gap between the storm collar and the flue.